Today I wanted to do a super quick video explaining to you how pregnancy tests work and which ones to use if you are early in pregnancy or later on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise and if you are new here, welcome. Um, we have lots of videos ranging between mom life, traveling, uh, military life, and lifestyle. So today I wanted to do a super quick video explaining to you how pregnancy tests work and which ones to use if you are early in pregnancy or later on. Our um, body creates a hormone called HCG whenever we are pregnant. And the only way that you can detect that or I guess test that is by a blood test or a urine test. If you are trying to conceive, you're obviously going to be testing at home, trying to figure out if you are pregnant. And there's lots of tests, lots of types of pregnancy tests that you can use to detect your pregnancy. And I have a couple of them here. Um, the first response, I have a cheapy um, one step and clear blue. These are from the German store, but um, I mean, it's clear blue brand. So I wanted to explain to you that depending on um, your body and the way that your hormones work, every woman's body um, creates a hormone differently. So some levels rise higher than others and the hormone kind of just fluctuates between woman to woman. And I'll post a picture up here on the range of your pregnancy per week where your HCG level can stand at depending on how far along you are. So it's like a huge range from the smallest level to the highest level of detecting your pregnancy. So the first response says um, that you can find out six days sooner. These don't say anything. And these, I think it says um, you can find out five days sooner. Now most of the brands say they are 99% accurate which is true, except they are 99% accurate, accurate from the first day of your missed period. So before that, it kind of just depends on which test you're taking. The reason behind that is that every test has a different, um, I guess, level of detection of the HCG hormone. So right now, um, with research and things like that. First Response is the only brand that can detect the soonest, and that is because um, First Response detects your HCG level at a six MIU, um, which is the soonest that you can, I guess, find out if you're pregnant. The one step, um, these are very much internet cheapies. They are super cheap and they obviously come in a lot. Um, they actually detect your pregnancy at a 10 MIU, which is also great. However, the line does not show up as bold as other pregnancy tests. It almost comes up just like a shadow, which makes it harder for you to be able to detect if you are pregnant. But it is 10 MIU, so it's still very early um, compared to other tests. Now, clear blue. A lot of people swear by clear blue, and it kind of just depends which test is your favorite. Um, clear blue actually detects at 25 MIU, which is a lot. At least the digital tests um, detect at 25 MIU. That is why a lot of times we'll take like first response or a cheapy and we will get a faint line and then we'll try and confirm it with the digital. That way we can have like a word, but it'll say not pregnant because your HCG level might not be as high as it needs to be to be detected. So if you're like me, my HCG levels rise very, very, very slowly, which takes more HCG in order for it to pick up in different um, tests. For me, the first response just seemed to work better because mine rises very slow and I want to find out as soon as I can if I am pregnant or not. 
but my first pregnancy, Clear Blue Digital actually did not detect my pregnancy until two weeks after I already knew that I was pregnant. So that's how I know that my hormone doesn't rise as quickly as others, but like I said, depending on how your body is, um, you might be able to use any of them. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. I have seen a lot of videos of like DPO, TTC videos and talking to some friends and realized that a lot of women actually don't know how the pregnancy tests do detect your HCG level. So I wanted to put this information out there. Hopefully it can help you figure out which test to take depending on where you're at in your journey and how early you need to find out if you're pregnant. Um, so I hope you liked this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe for more TTC videos. And I'll see y'all next time.